actually like diversifying like Harry Potter where you like point out the things in the story um, and try to improve it, then that's the only way that it could ever be good. But they're not going to do that because J.K. Rowling is going to be involved. So like like with Percy Jackson, like having like Annabeth be black, it makes that character way better and way more complex and way more interesting. All the characters that they diversify make them way more interesting. It's way more interesting to see like a biracial Luke that mm -hmm. doesn't like the Western world and see him trying to convince like Thalia and Annabeth who also are black to join him because there are things that the Western world does against them. And it just makes the story have more depth and things like that than it did in the beginning by by adding that stuff in um yeah. but harry potter can't do that because if jk rowling's there like if she wasn't there they could but because she's there it has to be like the stupid like white liberal story where voldemort was the problem and then once he's gone everything is magically fixed and so they can't do like they have an entire storyline about how elves actually like being slaves like Harry has an has a literal slave and he gets annoyed that the slave doesn't want to make him food mm -hmm. after he had to make his family food growing up. So like yeah. there's no there's no self-awareness there. And so the only way to ever make it good is if somebody else like was able to completely like change it and make it better mm -hmm. or in a magical world JK Rowling like let herself be critiqued like Rick Riordan is allowing himself to be critiqued by changing a lot of the cast of the his original characters. And he openly says in interviews that these people that he cast are the characters and that they make the characters better. And he wishes that um he thought of of them looking like this when he when he was younger, but he would just didn't think about it because he's yeah. just not that smart. Like that's the way that he puts it that these kids made the story way better and that these are like, these are his characters. Um, and so unless you have somebody like that, that's willing to like critique your own writing and change the story and make it better, uh, then it's just going to be really bad. And I, I more like feel bad for the actors, especially whoever the kids would be, who they would cast. Mm -hmm. um, because they're going to go through the fucking ringer of, of, playing these characters that they all love and adore but having like such a weird complicated feeling about all of it because of jk rowling the reaction mm -hmm. like they could be like the best actors ever and people still won't want to watch their show ever yeah. because of because of her well and then they're also gonna have to deal with the inevitable comparisons to the actors that came before mm -hmm. and um yeah that's that's also not their fault <laughs> And they're never going to, like, publicly, at least, get, like, the acceptance or whatever from the old actors. And it's nothing because of them. Mm -hmm. It's just because of J.K. Rowling. Um, and it's one of those hard things that they're never going to get that. And they're always going to want it. And it's not, like, they're, like, they're, like, these innocent little kids that are just being, like, lined up for a really difficult situation. Because mm -hmm. J.K. Rowling and HBO or Warner Brothers wants to make money off of Harry Potter and they don't make any enough money off of it at this point. Um, yeah. So they don't care about those kids going through that, playing those parts and stuff, but, or like the idea of that being like a bad thing on their record that they played like Harry Potter, but in the production that everyone hates. Um, but that's just, that's just something that they'll have to deal with. And it's just, never something that they kids after shouldn't have to be put in positions like that especially um especially by adults who just want to make money yeah. they don't actually care about any of that stuff but either way i just keep hoping that um that warner brothers will magically just like stop making it that doesn't mm -hmm. seem likely <laughs> but i just like hope that some like miracle will happen yeah. and it'll just like go away and we won't have to hear about it anymore but I know that that's if it does go away then JK Rowling's just gonna put out something else because that's the only way that she she uses Harry Potter to get attention to be 
a horrible bigot. And so if nothing Harry Potter's coming out, then she can't get attention for trying to kill trans people. And that's yep. the only thing she cares about now. So if that doesn't happen, then she's just going to do something else that makes everybody upset. Yeah. But you know what's interesting is you have to wonder <coughs> how much better the situation would be if she just kept all of that to herself. Because you think of what's happening, um, that's not the only thing getting a revival right now. Midnight Sun is about to come out on Netflix. And people don't engage with that in the same way. Like, there there are people who critique it and talk about how silly some of the points are and how, you know, like, plot-breaking certain things are in it in the same way they do with Harry Potter. But because I feel like Stephanie Meyer kind of sits in the back. Like, I don't hear anything specifically about Stephanie Meyer that often other than people making fun of her original fan casting, talking about the Mormonism of it all. But, like, nobody talks about her in the same way as they talk about J.K. Rowling because she's not out here saying stuff at random. Yeah, like, like uh, Stephanie Meyer is obvious, is quite, like, racist. And she's Mormon, so she's purity culture to the max. And all of that stuff is in Twilight, but because she just shut up, Twilight became this, like, fun thing where it's really, really bad. Everyone knows that it's really bad, but we still, like, enjoy it for mm -hmm. fun anyway. It's just become, like, something fun that people can have fun with. Yeah, it's campy. Um, because it's just, especially anything that Robert Pattinson ever said about Twilight, it's so funny that it's, yeah. like, why not just, like, have fun, almost, like, turn it into, like, something campy or something instead of what it was ever supposed to be in, like, Stephanie Meyer's mind. And there's other things like that. Like, even, like, um, Avatar The Last Airbender sometimes has things about it because of how it was made by two white men, but it's obviously inspired by different Asian cultures that sometimes people talk about how they feel weird about a lot of that stuff. And they even talk about that when it comes to, like, Star Wars and stuff. And Star Wars is a fucking cesspool of disasterness, but um, George Lucas shuts the, shuts the fuck up now. He doesn't say anything publicly, and so people still talk about how he stole from all these different cultures to make the idea of, like, Jedi and stuff like that. But um, it's not, like, as in your face as it is with her. But mm -hmm. ever since she accidentally posted that, like, transphobic diatribe when she accidentally copied and pasted something, when she was responding to, like, a drawing that a literal child drew um, for her. Like, ever since that happened in 20-whatever year that was, 2016, 2017, 2018, one of those years, they all kind of blend together at this point. Ever since she did that, she just... It's like this thing that happened that, like, she tried to hide it from people for a while and then got caught liking transphobic treat tweets and then outed herself by copy and pasting that like transphobic rant on accident and ever since she got caught she's just like well now that everybody knows I'm just gonna like double yeah. down and be like the absolute worst all the time and now she's just out there like accusing black women who are athletes of being trans because she's also showing how that being a turf makes you extremely racist at, at the same time um yeah. and like doesn't doesn't see it like doesn't see like how absurd she is and and things like that but it's just wild how because she can't shut up like truly just stop talking <laughs> she can't but she can't do that and so she's just like ruined her entire life where now there's like memes on the internet about how there's mold in her house that has made her literally lose her mind yeah. and even though everyone knows that that's not what happened it's more fun to be like, oh, J.K. Rowling's mind was hijacked by some evil mold and they, it made her transphobic. Instead of having to deal with the reality that she was like likely always transphobic, she just it didn't have social media yet where she got caught doing being like that. So we didn't yeah. we just didn't know. 